Hey guys, today we are going to building this very simple news app using Riverpod. In this app we make a request to the API and get the news from the API, and with the help of Riverpod, we will manage the state of the app and finally show the news. So let's do it. The first thing we need to do is to add these packages and dependencies. Then also because freeze annotation and to run the code generator, we need to add the build runner and freeze packages and dev dependencies. The next step is to create the folder structure of the project. We have six folders in the project named models, providers, services, widgets, pages and finally the constants folder. There are three steps to display the news. The first step is to make a request to the API. In the second step, we need to parse the response that the API returns to us, which is JSON. And then after parsing the JSON we display the news list using update state with the help of provider. To make a request to the API, we need a URL which we can use the news data website. First register on the site so that you can get an API key and use the API. This is the base URL of the API, so we copy it. And then in the constants folder, we create a file called constants. Now here we define a class called API URLs. Then we define a static const string variable called base URL and paste the URL here. Now it's time to make a request to the API. For this, we first create a file called news service in the services folder. Then we define a class called news service inside it. To request the API, we use the DO package. To start, we create an instance of DO in the class. DO has a parameter called base options, which we can determine the basic settings of the request. We put the base URL and also set the type of response that the API returns to us, which is JSON. Now we create a function called fetch news. Inside this function, we make a request to the API and then we return the response that is returned to us. First, we define a variable called response. Then we make a request to the API using do.get. Here we have to set the API path. If we look at the API URL, we can see that we have set the base URL before the language parameter. So now we just need to set the language parameter in do.get. Now we have to return the response.data. The reason for the error is that do.get is a future function and we have to wait for its response. For this we have to use the await keyword before do.get. Also in order to use await, we need to convert the fetch news function into an asynchronous function. For this we add the keyword async here. Our work is done here. The next step was to parse the data we get from the API. If we open the URL in the browser, we actually send a request to the API and the API returns this response to us, which is the news. Now what can we do with this response? We have to convert this response into an object, so to speak creating a model class for the response that the API returns to us. To convert JSON to object we just need to copy this response and then open the JSON to Dart website, and paste it here, and finally enter the name of the class and click the generate Dart button to create the model class. Now we copy this and then create a file in the model folder called news model, and paste it inside this file. Now it's time to create the news provider, so first we create a file named news provider. Provider and state provider are sufficient for simple use cases like the counter example. But in more complex apps we often need to store some state along with some business logic outside our widget classes. Because of this, we'll use state notifier provider for our business logic. State notifier provider is a provider that is used to listen to and expose a state notifier. State notifier provider along with state notifier is Riverpod's recommended solution for managing state which may change in reaction to a user interaction. So we need an immutable state, and to create this an easy way we'll use a package called freeze. What it'll do is generate all the boilerplate code for us, so our provider will be nice and clean. First we have to create a class that has the freezed annotation, so we create a class called new state. After creating we define the class with mixins. A mixin is a class whose methods and properties can be used by other classes without subclassing. Now we add a factory method as a constructor with arguments. Here we have defined default inside the factory method which comes from freezed annotation. The default annotation is used to set a default value for non-required properties. We have a property called as loading that we will use to display the loading animation whose default value is true. We also have a required property, which is news model. Anytime we want a class to be generated by freeze, we'll need to include the part name.freeze.dart. The next step is to navigate within the terminal to the folder where our project is located and execute the following command. Now we will find new files in our project. We have now successfully built a data class in freeze. Now we have to create the notifier. So we define a class called news notifier, which is extended by state notifier with the news state object. State notifier is designed to be subclassed. We first need to pass an initial value to the super constructor to define the initial state of our object. Therefore, we must pass the news state to super and set the result value property in news model to empty because these are initial values, and in the first, news list is empty. And finally, now we have to implement a function that get the news from the news service class and then parse it by the news model and update the state. So first we define a function called load news. Then we set the value of as loading in state to true using the copy with method. 
And now from the news service class, using the fetch news function, we get the news from the API and put it in the news response. And then using the from JSON method in the news model class, we parse the API response and put it in news. And finally again we update the state and set the news, and also set is loading to false. The load news function must be called somewhere in the app. The best thing we can do is to do this in the constructor of the news notifier class so that the function is called when the provider is initialized. Therefore we call load news in the constructor. And finally we need to define an instance of state notifier provider globally. We are using state notifier provider to allow the UI to interact with our state notifier class. So now let's show the news. The first thing we have to do is to wrap the root widget inside the provider scope. This is the heart of Riverpot. Without it, no provider can function. This gives all of the providers that you've defined within your application. Now we create a file called home page in the pages folder. Then inside this file we define a stateless class called home page. To read and use the provider in our class, we need to obtain a ref from a widget. Widgets naturally do not have a ref parameter, but Riverpod offers multiple solutions to obtain one from widgets. The most common way to obtain a ref in the widget tree is to replace stateless widget with consumer widget. Consumer widget is identical in use to stateless widget, with the only difference being that it has an extra parameter on its build method, the ref object. Now we listen to the provider using ref.watch, and we get the value of news state properties. Now first we return a scaffold, then we set this color for the background and check in the body. If his loading is equal to true, the progress indicator will be displayed, otherwise, we will display a list view builder. Now we set the item count property equal to the length of the news list. We can change the name of the result class in the model class to article to make it meaningful. Now to display news cards, I create a file in the widget folder called news card. And then inside this file we create a widget called news card. The content of the news is parsed in the article class, so this class has a required article parameter. For the news card, I implemented a very simple design so that the video doesn't get too long. We won't implement it again. You can check the codes yourself later. Now in item builder, we return the news card and also pass the article item to the news card using index. Now we set the news page as home and then run the app. And finally we can see that the news is being displayed correctly. The reason that the images are not being displayed is that the image do not have a URL, and the URL property is null. Also the previous API had a problem, that's why I changed the URL to this one. Now in the last step, we have to implement the news search. For this we define a function in the news service called fetch news by searching, and it has a string parameter, which is the same letter that is entered in the search text field. Then like the fetch news function, we make a request to the API using do.get. And the API path is like this, and it has a parameter called q which we must pass the title. Now in the news provider file and in the news notifier, we define a function exactly like load news called load search news. Only instead of using fetch news we use the function fetch news by searching. Also this function has a string input, which is the same word entered in the text field and must be passed to the fetch news by searching function. Well, we are done here, now we create a file called search field in the widget folder. Inside this file, we create a widget called search field which extending consumer widget instead of stateless widget. I made a very simple text field, you can check it yourself later. Now when a letter is entered in the text field, we should be able to call the function load search news that we created in the state notifier in the onChange text field. For this we can use ref.read like this and call the function and pass the value we entered in the text field. We also check that this line is executed if value is not empty. And finally we place the search field widget on the home page and change the structure of the home page to this. Now if we enter for example Tesla in the text field, we will see that the search operation is performed and the news about Tesla will be shown. The project is completed, you can find the source code in the description. And make sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.